busy, busy, busy. No time to waste today. We're off to dig the garden and clear the weeds away. Let's get mucky. You know it's lots of fun. We Gordon the garden gnome. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Hello. Hello. Busy, 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 busy. There's always lots to do. The seeds to plant and water, and, and you can join in too. So let's get mucky. Put your puddle busters on. It's Gordon the garden gnome. My magic calendar showed a couple of snails. Two visitors who came to the garden and ended up with a rather unusual home. <laughs> ah, the sweet smell of compost. Don't you just love it, Andrew? The pong of rotting vegetable matter? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact, Gordon. <laughs> Lovely, mucky, crumbly stuff. Full of goodness to feed the soil and make the plants grow. Hello. Morning, Gordon. Ah, Les and Des. And what brings you to the compost heap this fine day? We live here, Gordon. It's our main place of residence, as it happens. Is it now? Yes, we find ourselves very partial to the vegetable peelings and so forth that you're so good as to deposit here. Well, you do a very good job helping to break them down into lovely, mucky compost. I'll give you that. I just wish you'd leave the rest of the garden alone. A very diet makes for a healthy slug, Gordon. <coughs> ah, good morning, gentlemen. Huh? May I introduce myself? I am Horace, and this is my lady wife... Doris. Yes. Oh. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. I am... Uh, Leslie, and this here is my colleague. Des, what do you want? We're down here looking for somewhere to live. Yes, a second home, actually. Somewhere nice in the country, like this. Well, not quite like this, obviously. Perhaps something a little bigger. Somewhere one could really spread out and come out of one's shell. Bigger? Oh, uh, well, perhaps we can help you there. Try the next garden along. Percy Gnome is a big fan of snails. But, Des, Percy... He, he loves um... to have snails around to eat his plants. I say, thanks for the tip off, old chap. Come along, Doris. Eastwood Ho! Yes, thanks so much. Au revoir. Oh. Yes, <laughs> reservoir. Townies. There they are with houses on their backs and they want another one. Yeah, but sending them to Percy's was cruel. <laughs> Come on, let's go and watch the show. Right, Andrew, let's get mucky. Yeah! <laughs> <Whoopee! laughs> nice dive, Andrew. Seedlings. Oh dear, Percy. Oh. oh dear. Who could have done such a thing? I think you've had visitors, Percy. Hungry ones. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Result, Les. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. A slime trail leading all the way to. Les, Les and Des. Des. <gasps> oh, uh... Don't worry, Percy. I'll have a word with them. Now, Les and Des, I have an important question to ask you. Have you eaten Percy's seedlings? No. Snails. <gasps> Snails? Oh, yes. Rather than hassling innocent slugs, you should be looking out for a couple of vagrant snails with posh accents and no manners. Yeah, Horace and Doris. So you've met them? Yes. No. Oh. oh. Uh, passed by this way this morning. Uh, didn't say anything to them uh, much. Well, I never. Snails, eh? Not for long. Oh. This will get rid of snails once and for all. Ah. What does it do? This. Ah. Oh. 
Oh. When do they come down, Percy? I don't know if they ever do, Gordon. Oh. oh! I wish we'd never come here, Horace. Try to be brave, Doris. <laughs> That'll teach snails to make fun of our compost heap. Now, come on, Percy. Surely there's a friendlier way of dealing with snails. Friendlier? Hmm. Who wants to be friendly? No one likes snails. But that is I like Steal them. your compost as soon as look at you. Hmm. Compost. That's it. Eh? We'll build you a compost heap, Percy. That'll keep your snails out of trouble. Their own compost heap? What? But are you sure it'll work? I mean, how do I know the snails will agree to keep off my plants? Uh, <coughs> oh, oh. oh, hello. Um, we'd just like to say that we'd be... Only too happy to agree. Just so long as it's a spacious two-bin type. Two bin? In a nice hardwood. Oh, yes. It's so important to keep up standards. My standards are impeccable. Yes, it is a beautiful garden. So well kept. <laughs> oh, why, uh, thank you. <laughs> That's settled then. I'll order up the materials by gnome post and we'll get started. Cool. A two bin compost heap, not bad, eh? It's outrageous, Liz. It's so important to keep up standards. Ha! Thanks for offering to help, Rosie. And you, Jerome. Right, it's all here. Let's go. <laughs> OK. Well done, everyone. Now, let's fill it up. Vegetable scraps. Thanks, Rosie. Lawn cuttings. Just mix that in. Scrap metal. Hey, whoa there, Jerome. This is a compost heap, not a rubbish dump. Only things that rot, please. No. These boxes any good, Gordon? Well done, Percy. Cardboard's great for compost. Ooh. Uh, what about paper? Excellent, Jerome. Paper's very good on compost heaps, too. <sighs> Finished. Hooray! It smells very nice. Well, it would do, wouldn't it? Lord and Lady Muck over there are sitting on every rotten thing for miles around. I rather fancy paying it a visit. You must be joking. Those two snails need taking down a peg or two. We'll raid it. A raid? Yes. It's like a visit, but without the hello bit. <laughs> oh, yes, isn't it? You're very nice, aren't you? Lovely party. Great compost. Why, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> I do hope Les and Des turn up. Gordon! Oh, Horace. Thank you so much. We just love our new home, don't we, Doris? Oh, yes. And I just adore Rosie's little picture of us both. Yes, it lets everyone know it's your house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you made it. Welcome. Hey? It's Horace and Doris's housewarming party. You did get your invitation, didn't you? Yes. Well, um, we haven't been at home. But you're the guests of honour. If it wasn't for you, I'd never have thought of building a compost heap. Guests of honour? <laughs> never mind. You're here now. Would you like some vegetables, Diz? Oh, uh, thanks, Doris. <laughs> when are you planning to do your... Riding thing, then, Des. Just waiting for the moment to pounce, Les. Oh, yes, it's very nice, aren't they? Thank you, Gordon. 
I never thought I'd be so happy with a compost heap. My pleasure. And I'm actually enjoying putting all my waste stuff on it. Horace and Doris kept their word and didn't eat any of Percy's seedlings. Is it time to bounce yet, Des? <laughs> later, Liz, later. Les and Des even got to like their new neighbours. And everyone was very, very happy. Ta da! Bye bye! 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 Busy, 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 there's always lots to do. The seeds to plant and water, and you can join in too. So let's get mucky. Put your puddle busters on. It's Gordon the Garden My magic calendar had reminded me that I needed some bamboo sticks to tie up my runner beans. But that was only the start of it. Uh, I can't find my bamboo sticks anywhere. You lent them to Jerome, Gordon. You're right, Andrew. Let's go and get them back. Oh! No post! Huh? Uh... Garden. Hmm, that's funny. I haven't ordered any plants. There must have been a mix-up in the gnome post. I wonder if it's for Percy. Look, Gordon, it's wilting. <sighs> then the sooner we find it a home, the better. <laughs> Is this your plant, Percy? Huh? Um. No, sorry, Gordon. It's a bit too irregular in shape for my liking. Looks more like one of Rosie's wild things to me. Why don't you ask her? Thanks, Percy. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <clears throat> He's not in. What? A talking door. How amazing. Um, Chief Gnome, it's me, Daphne. Ah, Daphne. Do you know where Gordon is? This door is no help at all. Well, it's not mine. And it's certainly not any kind of woodland plant. And it most definitely can't be for me, because I've taken the day off. <sighs> <laughs> well, it seems to be gnomeless. I wonder where it's from. Wherever it's from, it's not happy here. We have to find it a home soon, or there'll be nothing left of it. Oh, plenty of clean, fresh air. That'll do the trick. <sighs> hey, fresh air. I wonder if it could be some kind of mountain plant. Hmm, it does have large flowers. And I know that plants from the Alps tend to have large flowers for their size. Try Helga Gnome. She lives in the Alps. Why don't you take it to her? I'm ready. Thanks, Rosie. Bye. Oh, yes. Jerome, mm. before I forget, can I have my bamboo sticks mm. back? Mm. Oh, never mind. Helga Gnome's garden. <gasps> well, he was here, Chief Gnome. Was? Yes. But he went to see Rosie. Ah, I see. Thanks, Percy. Rosie Gnome's Wood. Bye-bye. <gasps> Gordon, how nice to see you. Hello, Helga. What brings you here? Well, we've come about this plant. It's gnomeless, and we thought it might be an alpine plant. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Gordon, but this plant wouldn't survive in these cold conditions. 
Come along. See, alpine plants don't grow that tall and their leaves are small and close together. Oh, like a blanket of leaves. That's right. That's how most plants in the Alps keep warm when it's really cold. Those big shiny leaves are all spread out and it's already quite tall. It's definitely not a cold weather plant. Hmm. It's not a woodland plant. And now we know it doesn't like the cold. I know how it for feels. So we're looking for a hot climate. I know. The desert. Carlos has a desert garden in Chihuahua. Hey, Gordon, Andrew, how are you doing? What brings you to the desert? Well, it's a matter of some urgency, Carlos. This arrived on my doorstep by mistake. Wow. I'm trying to find it a home. Could it be a desert plant? But, Gordon, this plant would not last five minutes here. I'm fine. I'm fine. Chief Gnome! Ah, Helga, there you are. Rosy Gnome tells me Gordon's with you. Um, he was. He came with a gnomeless plant. Oh, bother. It's all a bit of a mix-up. You see, that plant is a surprise birthday present for the wife. <sighs> I had it sent to Gordon so she wouldn't see it before I had a chance to plant it. Oh, how romantic. Gladiole, I will love it. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, where's Gordon off to now? Chihuahua. To see Carlos. The desert? Oh, no. <gasps> oh. Wait, wait a minute. A Ooh. present for Gladioli. Um, thank you, Helga. <sighs> Desert plants are very special. They have to store water because it hardly ever rains. Oh, dear. Look at this prickly pear. No leaves. Instead, it is made up of these thick pads. All spiky and hard on the outside, but all spongy inside, like... like like, like spiky sponges. Exactly, like spiky sponges. Right, we've got to get to the bottom of this. It's not a woodland plant. No. It doesn't like the cold. Uh-uh. It doesn't like dry heat. No, no way. way. So it needs somewhere warm and wet. Mmm. It must be a tropical plant. Come on, Andrew. We haven't got a moment to lose. We're off to Hainan Island to see Sue Lee. She'll know where it belongs. Thanks, Carlos. Bye. Adios, and good luck. <laughs> Ooh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Did you say Hawaii? No, Chihuahua. No, oh, that was it. Chihuahua. <laughs> Look, Gordon. Plants just like ours. Oh. This must be the right place. Ah, Sue Lee. Hello, Gordon. Oh, Gladioli's surprise birthday present. Is there something wrong with it? <gasps> oh, no. It's a China rose, Gladioli's favourite flower. It should have been planted in the palm house at Kew Gardens this morning. Oh, dear. It's very kind of you, Carlos, but I'm not sure I can carry all these things. No, really. Ah. It's nothing. I insist. Gladioli will love it, Carlos. But did Gordon say where he was going? Yes, to see Sue Lee. Right. Thanks, Carlos. Mustache. <gasps> oh, dear. Covered now, Gordon. I'm glad you got here in time to save it. Me too. <laughs> and to think all I actually set out to do today was find a few bamboo sticks for me runner beans. And you ended up travelling around the world. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sue Lee. You've saved the day. Bye-bye. Kew Gardens. <gasps> <laughs> You, 
Oh, Chief Long! I, I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Perfect. <sighs> Gordon! Uh, what are you doing here? Um, hello, Gladioli. Where's my husband? I got a message to meet him here. What is going on? Oh! <sighs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <clears throat> Ta-da! Happy birthday, Gladioli. Oh, a china rose. It's beautiful. And strawberries and... And oh. so, Gladioli had a great birthday. The gnomeless china rose finally found a perfect home. And thanks to Sue Lee and the chief gnome, I got some nice new bamboo sticks. And everyone was very, very happy. Ta-da! Goodbye. Bye. 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 Busy, busy, busy. No time to waste today. We're off to dig the garden and clear the weeds away. Let's get mucky. You know it's lots of fun. We call them the garden gnome. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Hello. Hello. Busy, 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 there's always lots to do. There's seeds to plant and water, and you can join in too. So let's get mucky. Put your puddle busters on. It's Gordon the Garden One morning, my magic calendar showed a picture of my bright red puddle busters. I don't know what I'd do without them in my garden. Oh, at last. My vegetable patch is all sorted. What do you think, Andrew? Mmm, lovely, Gordon. In fact, it looks good enough to eat. Yes, uh, wait a minute. What's that noise? Hey, I've told you two before. Don't eat anything growing in straight rows. That means it's been specially planted. But, Gordon, we're just testing the vegetables for you. Yeah, to make sure they're tasty. And they are. Ten out of ten, Gordon. I've worked too hard in the patch today for you two to ruin it. Off you go. Shoo! Shoo! Well, you're losing a valuable service by sending us away. Quality control. That's what we offer. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, nothing like a good day's work to make you tired. I know. And I was just watching you. <laughs> oh, better leave these outside tonight. Bit muddy. Oh, no. He's about to take his boots off. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Andrew? No! <laughs> oh, Andrew, stop mucking about. Oh, what a smell! Something's a bit right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <sighs> ah, another lovely day for doing the gardening. Look, Gordon. Oh, no! My favourite boots! Gone! Your only boots gone? Nothing keeps a gnome from his garden. 
I'll wear my slippers. But aren't slippers a bit... <laughs> oh. 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 Slippery. <sighs> I wonder if someone has taken them, Gordon. The mystery of the missing Puddle Busters. Hmm. Let's investigate. Ooh. Percy Gnome, did you take my boots? Of course not, Gordon. Oh, thank goodness for that. Would you like a custard cream? Oh, don't mind if I do. Mm. Mm. You know, Gordon, there's really no need to find your smelly old boots when you could order a snazzy new pair from my Gnome Innovations catalogue. Uh... Ooh. Let's see now. There's snow boots, spring-loaded boots. Thanks, <laughs> Percy. Lights. But I'm very fond of me old puddle busters. One way or another, I have to find them. Rosy Gnome, did you take my boots? Don't be silly, Gordon. What would I want with your old boots? Well, I... Uh... May I have a custard cream? Sorry. Mm. Percy ate them all. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't take your boots. Moles like squishy soil between our toes. Lovely stuff. And it wasn't me. I only like things that smell beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Told you they were smelly. Smelly? My boots? Oh, yes. Oh, honey. oh dear. I love my old boots. Even if they do smell... <clears throat> a little. Well, oh? why not try a pair of super extendable pruning boots? Hmm. No? All right. Bye. I'll tell you what, Gordon. I could help you sniff them out. Moles have excellent noses, you know. <laughs> yes. Just follow the pong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very well. Smell anything yet, Morris? I'm getting a very unusual smell, and it's coming from in there. Jerome's garden? Well, I never. It's always the quiet ones. The smell is definitely coming from somewhere around huh? here, Gordon. <laughs> He's asleep. Mm. Tired <laughs> after a night of crime, taking other people's boots. Oh, Andrew, I still can't believe Jerome would take them. I think he did. And I can prove it. Look, Jerome's boots are all scuffed and old. So he definitely needs a new pair. Jerome must have taken them. The smell is coming from in here. <laughs> oh. Morris, reveal the missing boots. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Even your feet don't smell that bad, Gordon. Oh, what is it? That, if I'm not mistaken, is a Titan Arum, the smelliest plant in the world. Oh, dear. Sorry. I'll stick to being a worm instead of a detective. Never mind, Gordon. Why not try a fantastic pair of rocket-powered... Oh, Percy. No? Oh, well. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, hello, everyone. I was just in the middle of a marvellous dream. I was in the world's longest sleep competition. I think I was winning. Till you woke me up. We've been looking for my boots, Jerome. We thought they might be here. Oh, oh I haven't seen them. Morris was following this smell, you see. Well, it's and... not me. I had a bath at least once. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Must find boots. <laughs> Smelly. Uh. <laughs> Andrew, do you hear that? Oh, Andrew, what? What? That squeaking noise. Can you hear it? Yes. It's it's coming from outside. Let's investigate. Shh. Where's it coming from? What are you doing up this time of night? I can't sleep. 
and there's a funny squeaking sound, Morris. Can you hear it? Uh, oh, yes. It's coming from over there. My boots! Ah. We're so sorry, but we thought the boots had been thrown out. <laughs> and they had such a lovely smell. A lovely smell, eh? You hear that? Yes, just like cheddar cheese. <laughs> 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 oh. What are you going to do now, Gordon? Oh, perhaps I'll have to buy a new pair of boots after all. Well, I have just the right pair for you, Gordon. Oh, Percy, I... Ta-da! Oh. Oh. The classic red puddle buster, a gnome favourite. <laughs> oh, they're perfect. Thank you, Percy. Are you sure I can't persuade you to go for the clip-on rocket boosters? <laughs> no, thanks. These'll do just fine. <laughs> so the Mouse family spent the rest of the winter in my old boots and I wore me new puddle busters which smelt absolutely lovely. And everyone was very, very happy. Ta-da! Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Busy, busy, busy. No time to waste today. We're off to dig the garden and clear the weeds away. Let's get mucky. You know it's lots of fun. We garden the garden. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Hello. Hello. Busy, busy, busy. There's always lots to do. There's seeds to plant and water, and you can join in too. So let's get mucky. Put your puddle busters on. It's Gordon the Garden The other morning, my magic calendar reminded me that it was time to take a look at me marrow before the garden bugs beat me to it for their breakfast. Oop. Oh, dear. What's the matter, Gordon? Look at me cabbages. I recognise those two slimy slug trails. Les and Des. All sorts of bugs have been helping themselves to my vegetables. And after all me hard work... It's only because they're so tasty, Gordon. Did I hear the sound of a gnome with a nibbling problem? You did indeed, Percy. Well, I have a little something that might help you there. Say hello to the Mingus Charlie Bug Catcher. How does it work? Easy. Simply place a crunchy vegetable here, and when a hungry bug spots it and scuttles in for a snack... Ka-chong! But surely the bug can't stay in there forever, Percy. No, 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 no. Once you've caught them, you take the trap as far away from your vegetables as you can and set the bug free. It'll be like a little holiday for bugs. <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> I'm fine. Chief Gnome. Ah, Gordon. I was wondering if I could leave Ian with you for the day. I've got to go off and judge the Gnome Hampton Spud Regatta. Hmm? I promise I won't break your run of beans again. Well, I... I'll uh, be back to pick uh... him up later. We're guests of honour at the Radish Balancing Parade tonight and we can't be late. Gnome Hampton! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ian, we've got lots to do today, but first, let's set this bug trap. <laughs> Whoa! Bugs! Cool! Oh! I hope you're not thinking of putting that thing down here, Gordon. Well, how else am I going to stop you lot eating me vegetables? Well, that's just the point. We don't want to stop. 
It's not easy being small, Gordon. Ooh. So the Bug Council has called a meeting at the Flatstone. The Bug Council? Oh, dear. Does that mean I have to...? Yes. Shrink down to bug size for the meeting, please. Shrunk down to bug size! <laughs> I can't wait! Wait a minute. I'm not sure your uncle would be happy about me shrinking you down, too. Oh, but I've always wanted to find out more about bugs. Oh, Gordon, please! Please! You know, those bug meetings can be very boring, <gasps> Ian. Oh, please! And shrinking magic is quite strong. You can feel very unwell if you stay small for too long. I was sick last time. Oh, oh, nothing makes me sick. Please, please, please! Only if you promise to keep close to me. I promise. Right, I'm off. I'm not sitting through another one of those boring old meetings. Whoa! The gnome in the hat is very tall. Make him little and tiny and small. Stay exactly where you are, Ian. I'm on my way. The gnome in the hat is very tall. Make him little and tiny and small. Wow! Ooh! <laughs> Gordon! Look at the grass! Everything's so big! Ladybird uh. coming through! Wow! It's huge! Ooh. Right. If you could all please be seated, I will summarise the current nibbling agreement. Just stick with me, Ian. Sorry we're late. The bugs and gnomes of Gnomum Common agreed that nibbling be restricted to the following fruits on Mondays. The apple, the, the plum, gauge, the pear, cherry. the rhubarb on Thursday. <gasps> and finally... The berry family, including the strawberry, the raspberry, the mulberry, and of course, the gooseberry. <laughs> right then, on to the vegetables. In alphabetical order. <laughs> Group A. Have we finished? Broccoli. No, Ian, we haven't Carrot. even started yet. Cauliflower. Quiet. Seven. It's nearly my turn. <sighs> Andrew was right. This is boring. Hop, two, three, four, five, six. Hop, wow. two, three, four, five, and six. Hop, two, and they're as big as me. <laughs> but it's a very cosy trap to sit in, a crunchy vegetable to eat, and you get a lovely holiday at the end. A holiday usually has a return ticket. But does. You get a crunchy vegetable. Precisely. Well, we're not having it. <sighs> we're arguing round in circles. Let's take a break. I know I'm ready for one. What about you, Ian? <gasps> Ian? Five, six, hop, two, three, four, five, six, hop, two, three, four, five, six, hop, two, three, four, five, six, hop, there's Ian. Now, there's a good start in life for a young lad. All that discipline and marching. If I hadn't huh? been a slug, Les, I'd have gone for the ant life. You never told me that before, Tez. Oh, yes. Very nearly signed up. But I didn't, on account of being flat-footed. But it's never too late, eh? Shall we? Indeed. After you, Des. Hup, Hup. One, 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 one. It's no good. I can't see him. Ian! Ian! Oh, Ian, where are you? Oh, dear. The slugs are right. Being small isn't easy. And the shrinking spell's making me very tired. What in carnation? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I'm no. Fine. It's the chief gnome. Gordon! Ian! And Gladioli! Ooh. 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 I think I'm safe. Oh, look, a piece of crunchy vegetable. Hmm, it's very cosy in here. Wait a minute! Oh, 
Hollyhocks. Ooh, yeah. Eon! Yeah. Eon! Oh, I hope we find him soon. We can't be late for the radish balancing parade. The chief gnome's back, Ian's disappeared, and I'm stuck in this trap. <sighs> At least things can't get any worse. Well, look who it is, huh? and caught in his own trap. Oh no. Fancy a little holiday, Gordon? No! No! Put me down! Ian! What in carnation are you doing? I'm an ant, Gordon. Just doing my job. Let me out! That's exactly what we're going to do. Let you out into the wild, miles away from anywhere. And you'll have to make your own way back. OK. I understand now. I didn't realise how hard it was to be small. I won't put out any traps. Promise? I promise. No, oh, I give up. We'll just have to go to the radish balancing parade without Ian. It's not as if he's going to appear just like that. <gasps> ah, there you are. <laughs> Guess what I did today, Uncle? I got shrunk and marched with ants, and then they said they were going to teach me how to... <gasps> I wish people would stop doing that. <sighs> oh, Marvellous imaginations, kids of today, eh? Bye, Gordon. Being small was fun. Thank you. Radish balancing, balancing parade. parade. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> so, Gordon, how are you getting on with that bug trap? I don't think I'll be needing it anymore, Percy. So, I learnt that it's not easy being small. Ian had a great big adventure and we discussed a brand new bug agreement over a huge vegetable picnic and everyone was very, very happy. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Mm, all right, all right. Oh, all right. <laughs>